Welcome to the Blur channel. This is Daz. And uh, we're looking at the uh, pomegranate wormhole painting. I'm going to uh, zoom in on this. This painting is four foot by six foot. So uh, it's a little tricky to get in there. We're going to go in and start at the upper left. We just take you up a little bit there to her face. So as you can see, the upper left hand corner here. And we're coming down to the face of the female shaman. And you can see her bodice. Up at the top here you can see that the hair turns into a phoenix on her shoulder. See the phoenix tattoo that's alive. You can see her arm is breaking into this porthole. Uh, there are spots coming off her arm and going into the spots of the jaguar. She is bringing through her pomegranate wormhole. We'll travel down her body a little bit. You can see some armor. We're going to go over this way, come up the middle. You can see the jaguar. Uh, under every one of my paintings are realistic charcoal drawings. It's what I start with before I uh, apply all my techniques that I want to to create my particular style of artwork based on the principles that I use. You can see my jaguar there. And coming up further, you can see this opening, the pomegranate wormhole opening, which is shaped like a pomegranate with a giant seed there. Let's uh, bring that into focus. See that hummingbird? The hummingbird is one of two. There's a male and a female hummingbird being brought into our earthly dimensions. And uh, let me go back out a little bit so you can get an idea. So you see the pomegranate wormhole there with the seed, two hummingbirds and a jaguar. The female shaman herself has appeared in the earthly dimension and she's coming through a jungle portal. So she herself is entering our time and space in a jungle, bringing these creatures to the earth to start the Mayan civilization. Now I'm going to zoom in on some features so we can study them individually. Let's go in on her face a little bit. And you can see uh, the realistic portrayal of the face in color and her headdress which is uh, plants, organic things, uh, things that are you know coming into being as she enters into the world and also which gave inspiration as a headdress to perhaps the Mayans when they met interdimensional humanoids if that ever took place. The spots are flying from her arm as she brings out this life form, the jaguar, and starts to paint it with spots. You can see I use charcoal before it turns into color. So one of my things is line work. Line to me is the most important element in a painting. Uh, in math they tell you two points determine a line, so if you draw any two points on a piece of paper, uh, and then connect them with a ruler, you have a line. In art, that line can have thickness or thinness, and we call that value in a two-dimensional direction. In other words, it can get wider or narrower, and uh, you know, if you study a line in the painting, for instance, one of these swirls that you see in this kind of a arrangement there, that the uh, smaller you get into the swirl, the smaller the line, and then as the line comes out, it begins to have value or thickness or thinness. Then the line defines a form, starts to have volume and dimensions, and then you add shading to really give it mass. In my paintings, every line is carefully placed. So you will not see any lines that don't belong there. I put every line in with a purpose. The center of this uh, vortex, let me get this kind of focused in a little bit, let me pan back, pan back camera, ok, 
camera, camera, there we go. Okay, so you see a little like yin yang uh, in the center of this because the yin yang is the grand terminus in the Chinese symbolism and represents the interplay of polar opposites, so hot and cold, up and down, in and out, left and right, etc. Now, let's see what we can do. Zoom in on a hummingbird. Here you see the hummingbird, which is to me a creature of almost light becoming a bird. They are the most ethereal, magical little creatures you'll ever see. Hummingbirds, I believe, are part of the mythology of fairies, as well as phosphorescent moss, which I have seen in the Northwest, which in forests at nighttime give off little tiny glowing dots of color that dance all over them. You'll see a purple light, an orange light, a yellow light. I've been to forests out here in the Northwest where you can see that at night uh, illuminating and looks like Tinkerbell jumping around a tree. It's amazing. But earthly wise, hummingbirds represent that to me and I'm totally fascinated by them with all the other things I'm fascinated by on the earth. No shortage of things to fascinate me. And the male hummingbird there, just a little bit more uh, determined aggressive, whereas the female is all expansive and flowing and uh, graceful. So there's some things going into that painting. Now I'm going to uh, go back to the full shot of this painting and then I'm going to call that a wrap because I don't want to take too long on the internet to view this painting, but you're welcome to come to the shop and see it anytime. Thank you very much for viewing and take care.